society and just be able to figure yourself out or explore how you need to grow and develop individually. It's not a, I'm sorry, this is just a model, it's not a blueprint. Um, it's an idea, of something I want to get started and um, basically just presenting it and kind of gauging interest and seeing who would be interested in starting with me. If not, it's a scalable model that can basically be done by individual or by community, whoever's involved. And if it would be more of a community thing, um, I would, I can't necessarily dictate what that would be. So um, I want to spend this year exploring more things for my own interest of, of, as far as um, getting more experience with agriculture and um, homesteading. And then possibly meeting, uh, getting the group together in September to kind of brainstorm and doing something next year, whether it would be um, just at a retreat for a couple of days just to get the ball rolling. Permaculture, that's kind of, I mean, to get into it, it's sort of a natural progression from graphic design. It's still design thinking, it's still structuring things um, with creative intent, absolutely. And so I, I end with a quote by Emma Goldman. Um, this absolutely is utopian. I don't kind of um, make any illusions like otherwise. But I think if something like this could happen, even if it's only a, around for a year or two or for a couple of decades. If only one or two people have a chance to develop in ways they haven't been able to develop before, I feel like that's worth it, worth a while. So um, if you'd like to speak with me afterwards, please do so. Thank you. Do you have the Danish model of co-housing? Have you looked into that? What? The Danish model of co-housing? Yes. So there's a group in Pittsburgh, a small group that's trying to get this started. Okay. Okay. And they have some land. Do you have connections with them? I yeah. do. I will talk to you about yes. <laughs> Okay. What? Tiny. Tiny houses. Not necessarily tiny things, but share. Oh,